Hi everybody, Father Mike here. It is day 32, can you believe it? And yesterday we looked at the Lexio Divina process, perhaps you've tried it out uh, since then. Uh, we've, we've done it with our youth group here, we've done it with different prayer groups in my morning Bible study. Uh, sometimes we end with Lexio Divina and um, uh, over what we've kind of got, maybe a piece of what we've gone through in, the, in that particular session. Today I, I have the Bible here and I'm just going to randomly go through this process or go randomly pick a verse or two and go through this process. I don't have any idea what the Holy Spirit has in store, so I'm kind of excited to see what that is. So how would we begin? We begin, I put my feet on the floor and I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, um, speak to my heart, speak to me. I, I would seek to grow closer to you through the wording or through the reading of, of your word and help me to open this Bible to the passage that you would like me to read especially as I make this video. Amen. So then, as you see, I just, I'm going to open it to a random page. I kind of want something in the New Testament today, so that's why I'm going to the end, toward the last part, you know, the latter part of it. And now I'm just closing my eyes, put my finger down. Let's see what the good Lord has to say. Oh, we're at the end of the Gospel of Mark. I put my hand on a paragraph that is in red because it's the words of Jesus. It is Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18. And those who believe shall use my authority to cast out demons, and they shall speak new languages. They will be able even to handle snakes with safety, and if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them, and they will be able to place their hands on the sick and heal them. So I've done part one. Lexio was I read it and and sometimes you you might need to go back in this and say like what is going on here and my kind of take from this is that the Lord has the Lord Jesus has given strength to his disciples who believe in him and he has said if you truly believe in me and live in me you will be able to speak new languages poisonous things are not going to hurt you and you will be have the power even to cast out demons that's a lot and um you'll be able to heal after placing your hands on people and so okay that i've lexioed i've read it and and i've just kind of like kind of like take a quick second to let it sink in and I might think here about like, okay, what was, was there a word or phrase in there that really kind of stuck out at me? And maybe there was, um, and, and let me just kind of sit with that, you know, and what's, what's jumping out. I think what stuck out to me is poison. Now that's not like, that was when I just closed my eyes, like that was the word that come, came to me after what I just read. And people often say, you know, when you share in, in a group, people will say, well, what I picked was, you, you didn't pick it. The Holy Spirit picked it, you know, and, and that when I just closed my eyes, the first word that came to me was poison. And, and I didn't pick it, like it picked me. And so kind of have to sit meditatio, stage two here, like why did that? So then I read it again. And those who believe shall use my authority to cast out demons and they shall speak new languages. They will be able even to handle snakes with safety. And if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. And they will be able to place their hands on the sick and heal them. So now I kind of meditatio, just, you know, close my eyes. And you might do the same over this verse and just say, like, Lord, what's something to take away from this, you know, what what are you really saying in between the lines? All right, and and so uh, what was speaking to my heart there with the Holy Spirit was that there may be things in this world. Um, that might be poisonous, there may be snakes, there may be demons, there may, and there are these things. Um, but that if we're with Christ, we're okay. And if we're with Christ, we can help make these things less powerful. The poisons become less poisonous, the demons 
become weakened and the snakes are put to flight, just like St. Patrick the other day drove them, drove them out of Ireland. Now it's time for the third step. That is oratio. I read it again, and then I pray. And those who believe shall use my authority to cast out demons, and they shall speak new languages. They will be able even to handle snakes with safety. And if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. And they will be able to place their hands on the sick and heal them. So just kind of close my eyes again. This is um, where you kind of begin to try to apply that, apply the, everything that we just talked about in, in the Lexio part and the Meditatio part. Now you're trying to apply it to your life. So I'm going to try to close my eyes and do that in my life. Okay, um, I'm back, and um, I, I think one thing that God might be inviting me to do um, with this passage, these two verses, is um, to find people who have maybe been bitten by a snake. I'm thinking of a person who, um, who kind of a perfect stranger, doesn't go to our church, who came up to me uh, when I was out and about um, several days ago, and just could tell there was some things and uh, with this person and, um, and and this is an invitation from the Lord to kind of like realize that that, that person people sometimes like that person who sometimes this can be a magnet you know and that's a good thing and like that to how can I help deal with people who are dealing with poison you know who are dealing with things that are not good for them. And, um, and, and this part is where sometimes um, you just don't want to say too much because a lot of this is really in the heart. And so um, I'm, I'm thinking about this person, but I'm, I'm not going to kind of go into detail. But I think that there are ways uh, that the Lord might be inviting me here to, to help folks who are struggling uh, and who have been hurt. Um, and to help them have healing, and that we have that ability to give healing to people um, is really quite something. And of course, it's nothing in us, it's the Lord in us, right? Um, and so then, the fourth step, contemplatio. We read it again. And those who believe shall use my authority to cast out demons, and they will speak new languages. They will be even able to handle snakes with safety, and if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them and they will be able to place their hands on the sick and heal them. So this is where I kind of just close my eyes and we'll just kind of close this video here um, to this and, and we just, I just kind of rest in the Word of God and allow my soul to be marinated in the Holy Word.